SBA's Paycheck Protection Program, PPP Loan Forgiveness. Completing your PPP Forgiveness Questionnaire, SBA Application 3508 Easy Form, Segment 1. Getting Started. Let's get started with your PPP Forgiveness Application. Once you've logged into your online banking to activate your application, you will receive an email with a link to the PPP Forgiveness Questionnaire. The email comes from online applications at walterskluwer.com and the link is safe to click. Walters Kluwer is the trusted vendor RCU is using for our PPP loan forgiveness process. Please note your PPP forgiveness ID in the upper right corner of this email. Click the link that says click here to open the form. To authenticate your application, you'll need to answer three security questions exactly as provided on your PPP application form. This includes email address, business tax ID number, and SBA loan number. If you don't know your SBA loan number or the other information requested, no worries. This information can all be found in your online banking. Complete your information. For the purposes of this video, we are using a generic email. For your application, you will input your email address. Click the security CAPTCHA and click confirm. On the introduction screen, read and agree to the electronic communications consent by checking the box. Any fields you see with a grayed out box are automatically filled and cannot be modified, such as the date or time seen here. Next, click Start Questionnaire. If your PPP loan is over $50,000 and the 3508 Easy Form is applicable to your business, select the SBA Form 3508 Easy. Of the three scenarios presented, read the options carefully and select the scenario that qualifies you for the Easy Forgiveness Form. For the purposes of this video, we're going to go with Option 1. Towards the bottom of the screen, your loan disbursement date will automatically be populated with information that matches our records. If your loan was funded before June 5, 2020, you'll be given the option to select between an 8-week or 24-week period. Any loan funded after June 5 will automatically be adjusted to a 24-week cover period. No cover period will extend beyond December 31, 2020. As a reminder, RCU automatically adjusted all PPP loans from April through August to a 24-week period on your loan documents, as there are no apparent benefits to choosing the 8-week cover period. If you prefer an 8-week period, select that option in this application and we'll adjust your loan paperwork accordingly once a decision has been received by the SBA. Then, click Save and Continue. Congratulations, you've successfully started your application. For tips on filling out the rest of your application, watch the next segment in our series, Segment 2, Borrower and Loan Information.